Hey, hello everybody. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Jarno Basilier and I'm the instructor of the Ultimate Flipper Zero course. And for everybody that does know me, I usually create my content in Dutch. So this is the first time I've created the course in English. So please bear with me as I'm trying to speak English to the best of my abilities. That being said, I guess you are a little bit familiar with this device already and you want to learn how to operate the Flipper Zero as effectively as possible because straight out of the box, this can be a little bit uh, of a complicated device. Why? Because it allows you to play with different kinds of signals and different kinds of protocols and that can be a little bit confusing from the start. So we will start simple in the course. We will first start off by installing the device, upgrading its firmware, allowing you with more features and options and then we will customize the interface and when that's done we will run through every single module that the Flipper Zero has to offer. So by the end of the course you will know exactly when and also when not to use a module. And we will even expand that knowledge further by using the GPIO pins and the Wi-Fi developer board allowing the Flipper Zero to work with Wi-Fi signals because that's something that the Flipper Zero cannot do straight out of the box. The Ultimate Flipper Zero course is available on Udemy and the link of the course is in the description below. That being said, as a little spoiler for my YouTube friends, when I'm done talking, I will play the first chapter of this course. So you will have a little bit of understanding how the full course will look. The full course is 19 chapters and about 2 hours and 13 minutes worth of video. So I hope you like the spoiler. I hope you are interested in the course. And if you are, please buy it on the link below. Thank you again so much for your attention. Have lots of fun with the spoiler and I'll hope to see you back in the full course of the Ultimate Flipper Zero. Thank you very, very much and bye bye. So this is what the course is all about. And let's start by uh, giving you a little Flipper Zero introduction. The Flipper Zero is a portable open source device used for testing and investigating wireless signals, communications and security protocols. The Flipper Zero is designed to be accessible by both beginners and experienced security professionals. The device looks like a small gadget with a simple interface including a monochrome screen and a few buttons. A notable feature is the cute digital dolphin avatar that appears on the screen and reacts to the user's actions. So gamification of the device and that little cute dolphin is called the cyber dolphin. The Flipper Zero itself contains multiple sensors and communication devices. Default functionality can even be extended by the use of additional expansion and development boards. Some of the default communication methods are RFID, NFC, sub gigahertz, IR or infrared, GPIO, iButton, Bluetooth, USB, etc. So we will run through all of these capabilities during this course. And we will also extend the Flipper Zero capabilities, as I told you, with a Wi-Fi development board. And with the Flipper Zero, we have a, a, a broad range of applications. We can use it for, like, for instance, testing the security of wireless protocols and devices, or conducting penetration tests on RFID and NFC systems. We can use the Flipper Zero to investigate and emulate signals from wireless remotes, controlling or hacking OT or IoT devices through the GPIO pins, or we can also use it as a universal remote controller for all uh, wireless devices we have at home. So we have usually quite a lot of wireless devices that all require their own remote. Well, since Flipper Zero has so many capabilities of uh, uh, signals and communication protocols, we can usually use the Flipper Zero as a universal remote for all of them. Be aware there are some limitations uh, of using the Flipper Zero because while the Flipper Zero offers powerful capabilities, there are ethical and legal constraints on its use. It's important to understand that illegal or unethical activities such as cloning access cards without permission or interfering with wireless communications 
can have legal consequences so make sure you know the law and uh, uh, check the law for the specific country that you are using the flipper zero in for instance the flipper zero or the use of some of some of its modules is prohibited in countries including germany brazil and russia unauthorized use is always illegal be aware of that